Ever wish to life went that little bit smoother or simply that your local subway station wasn't so crowded all the time? The solution may be found in a cutting edge technology called digital twin. Physical objects, everything from busy train stations to entire cities, are replicated in the digital arena. Massive amounts of data are processed on the fly. Why? To improve things back in the real world. This is a real life port in China. And here is its digital twin. The virtual reproduction shows the movement of every truck and the location of nearly 100,000 containers all in real time. It does this using data collected twice a second by sensors and security cameras located around the site. And this translates into real world efficiency. The system makes it easy to see which trucks are closest to certain containers and identifies the fastest routes around the site. According to port officials, overall income has shot up by 30% since the digital twin was introduced. Over in Japan, a video game company is playing a key role in the emerging industry. The Tokyo based firm specializes in computer graphics. It has produced lifelike visuals for countless games. About two years ago, it started creating digital twins for companies in a variety of industries. This one reproduces conditions on a Tokyo street. It was requested by a major automaker that's working to develop self driving technology. Autonomous driving systems rely on AI to avoid road hazards. To improve accuracy, the technology must be tested multiple times under various conditions. In the real world, this process is expensive. And time consuming. But with a digital twin, weather conditions and time of day can be changed instantly. The system can even simulate worn out road markings, something the AI has trouble picking up on in the real world. It reproduces the kind of deterioration that's likely to occur in real life. While the digital twin doesn't completely remove the need for real world tests, it has streamlined the AI development process and is spurring progress in the self driving field. The possibilities keep expanding. It's tough, but exciting. Another area where digital twins are being used to great effect is construction. They're helping companies overcome labor shortages, which have been a persistent problem in the industry. The firm had a digital twin made for a building it's still in the process of constructing. The system allows company officials to check if everything is proceeding according to plan without ever leaving the office. Right now, we mainly rely on human labor, but by using digital twins, we can save on travel time. One person will be able to monitor multiple projects, which will improve efficiency significantly. Digital twins aren't being used just to improve business efficiency. They're also helping with urban development. This 40 story office tower in Tokyo's Minato Ward houses many companies and restaurants. Approximately 14,000 people come through its doors on weekdays. 
Their movements are monitored by some 1,400 sensors and cameras installed around the building. And reproduced in real time by the building's digital twin. Traditional security camera systems require an operator to constantly keep track of multiple monitors. But the digital twin offers comprehensive coverage with no blind spots at just a glance. The system is jointly operated by a major real estate developer and a tech firm. They use it to identify potential problems before they occur. Security guards recently took the digital twin on a trial run. They used the system to quickly locate points in the building that were getting crowded. This is the security center calling officers on patrol. There seems to be congestion by the first floor entrance. Please check. The digital twin also keeps track of the locations of security guards, so the ones closest to a problem are sent to address it. I'll go right away. The system also helps improve overall security as it detects any unauthorized entry into restricted areas. We are considering what services would encourage more people to use the facility. We are gathering requests and opinions to develop the digital twin even more. China has introduced a state initiative to promote digital twins. A massive amount of data is being collected in major cities across the country. This is a virtual representation of a subway station in Hunan province. Sensors monitor people in the station gathering data such as age, gender and speed of movement. The digital twin uses this information to predict congestion. The system helps operators control the flow of foot traffic. If the station gets too crowded, they can temporarily close ticket gates and entrances. The company behind the system has produced more than 1,300 digital twins for a variety of sites, including a university, condominiums, even a dam. But the firm has its sights set on something even bigger. The digital twin contributes to a more scientific and optimized planning strategy. This is also a match to our vision, which is creating the whole world digitally, creating a digital twin world. That report was by Machida Keita. He's here now. So Keita, I have never heard about digital twins, but by watching your report, uh, I felt like uh, there have been similar developments in a digital world before. So what's the biggest difference here? Well, with digital twins, lots of data is collected and processed in real time. Like at the subway station in China, we just saw detailed information about passengers, age, gender, walking speed and luggage. It's provided not only by sensors, but also ticket gates and vending machines. This helps to make the congestion forecast much more accurate. Hmm. So the aim is to collect as much data as possible, including from uh, areas of life that could touch on our privacy. Is that fair to say that China is taking a lead with this new technology? Hmm. You could say so. The country's public and private sectors are really embracing digital twins. A project is even underway to digitalize two entire cities, Shanghai and Beijing. And officials in the industry seem to be aware of people's concern over privacy. For example, the 
Chinese digital twin provider Weso in my report says there is a ban on access to information that can reveal people's identities. The firm itself also appears to be keen on establishing regulations. Right, so the protective measures will certainly be vital. As we saw in your report, digital twins could greatly benefit our lives. So how best to strike a balance between the results and risk? Good question. This is a new technology and there need to be more critical debate. An expert I spoke to says regulations should prevent certain companies or individuals from having exclusive access to data, mm -hmm. especially regarding, regarding public spaces. The expert also said the use of information must be constantly monitored by a third party. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much, Machida Keita. Great report.